Do you know the biggest mistake which gate aspirants do while applying nodal analysis? Hi, I am Shilpa Sambi and let's together understand and learn from the mistakes which other people have done so far. So nodal analysis, we all have learned this nodal analysis and we are working on it from, from a long time. But what is nodal analysis? Let's understand this quickly, first of all. So what nodal analysis basically says that if we consider a node here and it's a part of a circuit here where you can see that there are some five branches which are meeting at this particular node and the branch currents with the respective directions uh, that is flowing in this all in all these branches. Now, if we apply nodal analysis to this, then first of all, what we have to do, we have to have a good sign convention. That means that you should be perfect in your sign convention. You should assume your sign convention and then apply that sign convention throughout your circuit. You should not change your sign convention for each and every node. That is an important point to understand. So in this case, I am assuming incoming current to be positive and outgoing current to be negative. Okay, so let's keep it simple and keep these sign conventions like this. Now, what will happen if I apply this node analysis at this junction, at this node? So, my incoming current has to be taken as positive. Incoming current means the current which is flowing towards the node. And what is outgoing? The current which is moving away from the node. Okay, so what you observe here, there are three incoming currents, I1, I2 and I5. Okay, and as per the sign convention, which I have assumed, I would be writing these three currents with the positive sign. So in my equation, I have written I1 with positive sign, I2 with positive sign and I5 with positive sign. Then what is happening? I3 and I4. These two are the outgoing currents and they have to be taken with the negative sign. So it's written as minus I3, it's written as minus I4. Now the algebraic summation of all the currents in this node has to be zero and so the final equation is equated to zero. In other words, you can say that the total incoming current has to be equal to the total outgoing current. So if I rewrite this equation, what I'll get? I'll get I1 plus I2 plus I5. This is the summation of incoming current. And this is equal to I3 plus I4. And this is the summation of the outgoing current. So the summation of incoming current is equal to the summation of outgoing current. Right. So here we have applied Kirchhoff's current law with this sign convention in assumption. What if I change my sign convention? Means if I make up my incoming current to be negative and my outgoing current to be positive, what will happen? Will I be getting the same answers? Let's try to understand this. So again, I have taken the same circuit with the same direction of uh, currents which we have just taken. Now the incoming current has to be negative, which means that the sign of I1, I2 and I5 has to be negative. So in the equation what I have written minus I1, minus I2, minus I5 and what is happening to this outgoing current here? It has to be with positive sign. So plus I3 and plus I4. And if I'm going to rearrange this equation again for incoming uh, currents on one side and outgoing currents on one side. So rewriting the equation, I will be getting I1 plus I2 plus I5 that is equal to I3 plus I4. So the same thing which we have just seen in the previous sign convention that the summation of incoming current is equal to the summation of the outgoing current. So please understand here one important point and that is your sign convention should be same throughout the working of your circuit. Why? Because if you are going to apply then only 
your incoming and outgoing directions will be taken care by the positive and the negative signs. How you are going to define your direction of current? With the help of these mathematical signs. Okay, but remember, while you do practice for the nodal analysis, do remember to take same sign convention for whatever practice questions you people are doing. Because in this case, you are training your brain to a particular set of sign convention. So, while you would be working in your exams, your brain is going to work very fast, you know. And it will say, okay, incoming positive, outgoing negative, and you will automatically keep on, uh, you know, writing your uh, equations. If your sign convention is perfect, your equations will be perfect, your answers will be 100% accurate. So do follow these small tips and we will be coming with more such small tips in the near future. So thank you for your patience listening.